What's up, everyone? We are live. It is Wednesday, the 17th of January, and Dinos 2.0. Actually, no, this is just a new Dino deck. Uh, this is actually a user submitted from a uh, new user last night, um, iBaldi. Uh, he's looking to play Dinos at Houston or Fort Worth or one of the ones coming up and sent it to us. So I made a few little changes. Uh, didn't I don't have a third Galta, so that got changed. And we're trying, um, because we've noticed last night in our notes, um, that there was a lot of aggro, so we're trying the Forerunner of Empire and see if we can't ping those aggro decks away. Um, the Cyborg, we have some Carnage Tyrants, Heroic Interventions, Blossoming Defenses. Stuff to hopefully keep our dinos alive. Because we have the beater deck, it's just, they need to stay alive. So, we'll see what this does. Um, I know I'm staying within the constraints of dinos. Um, and, yeah, this is dinos forward, uh, Kendra, so. As always, we like to get a game in first and see how it feels. Um, they had 21 lands. I upped the land count by two. I know we have commune and all that, but it's one of those I want to make sure. So... Like, I feel like you might not even need Drover in this deck. Oh, we might be able to go more dino-centric. Oh, these Drovers are actually going to be great. Um, to get Galt out. So we'll see how that runs for us. We love when our opponent goes land, land. Um... You know what? No, I think we get um, a red source here. All right, well, they're playing main deck Pierce. All right, main deck Pierce is a uh, confirmed. But yeah, I uh, totally think uh, in the realm of beater decks, there's a decent mid-range deck out there that's got dinos, more dinos than like Ripjaw Raptor. This is probably a blue-white approach. It's really weird that they're playing... So the key is we're not going to run out any of our major threats. We do need to find some lands, though. I'm going to hold the other Drover. So I'm going to hold the other... Uh, Drover. Probably play a Brontodon swing for three. The other one to play would be um, our Death Gorge Scavenger and start eating uh, things. And then I kind of 
feel like that may be where we want to be. And no, we're not eating anything yet. So we have nine, ten power right now. Um, they're not repping a settler wreckage at all, by the way. So, I think, honestly, we're going to be that that person. And we're going to play into the settle to get ourselves lands. I'm going to eat the Supreme Will. Um, yeah, you caught me. Darn. Red, red. Green. I mean, they weren't really what we cared about so much. Um, this is the beefy one we care about more. Okay. Uh, no swing here. We're going to just commune. See if we can't find another good dino. And we'll take a Rupon Crag, I guess. Any order of those are all hot garbage. Let's commune again. Uh, Ripjaw, not really good here. I like the Crested Herd Caller. Uh, it's just three body or two bodies. Two Tramplers. Let's see if they want to cancel. Never, I haven't seen cancel, so we're looking at... Um, okay. One, two, three. You got the fumigate? Ixalan's binding. What are you binding? Please tell me you're binding my herd collar. It's a two of in the deck. Yep, yeah, fantastic.
We're eating that settle. I totally am eating that settle. Feel like I should probably put Vance's blasting cannon in the side. Things I will pick up for a hundred, please. And yes, for this one, we will be eating early because there's certain things you just don't want them to be able to like fat cast your back. And Settle is one of the more devastating ones. Cancel Supreme Will, all that we can kind of play around. So. I am completely okay with this. Like I say, I, I have a good idea what this deck is doing. I am a control player, so being able to play beater spells. Alright, so you're cycling... They're looking for a fumigate. They need a board wipe. So it looks like we got a few things going on here. So I do need to pull all our viewers and see what you all think about music in the streams. Um... I have no creature to target. That's annoying. Well, Doherty, we're looking at switching over because YouTube is changing how things work. Um, so we won't be able to monetize anymore. And... So, um, this is lethal. They need a cancel. Nope. All right. Supreme will. Um, so we're looking at keeping everything on Twitch. We'll still upload VODs to YouTube but I don't know how they're going to look because uh, we can't monetize them. So this is one of those like trying to figure out what everyone would like to see. So, look, another settle. So, like I say, I have no problem playing music. It's just more or less... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, two more lands. One more land. So 
So if if music is something people are interested in, we'll be able to do it because Twitch does have their own um, music channel, which is um, super like user friendly. Um, so, so it's one of those, like, we can play it, it's ad free, it's, you know. No problem, Doherty. Key is, do they have the ability to remove? They have been sitting on one card. It's gotta be... Approach. Now they cannot approach. I have lots of damage. Thank you. Alright. So we didn't see fat casters. But basically. All of this comes in. This comes out. This comes out in some way. And we do that. Carnage Tyrant. Really hard to remove. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll keep this. So I'm I'm just trying to pull what everyone's feeling or what they're thinking. Alright, so Drover, are you going to censor? Scatter. On oh, my Drover, that's fantastic, because I have more than enough lands. I was just playing Drover for value. Whoop. On curve. Always make them have it, friends. No, that's fine. I think Nissa may be a worth a look in the sideboard of this deck. Because she's a beater in herself.
by one of you. You opt. New essence scatter. We're playing a game of how many counter spells do you think our opponent has? We just need a threat. And one stuck. Of course we can't you know, blossom and defense it. We got four Brontodonzo. So we still have a lot of life and our opponent has down to two cards. And if they want to cancel or uh Death Gorge is actually better here. Let's eat a Supreme Will. No. They're down to one card. Let's get a commune on. Land. That wasn't bad, but not great. All right, let's uh, stick something here. Uh, let's eat the essence scatter. All right. Their one card was a settle. All right, so let's uh, keep on rolling here. Rip jaw. I have one card in hand. Does the Supreme Will? No, I'm going to get one card out of that. So let's see what the look was. Blowout time. Uh, no. Now they have zero cards in hand. First damage. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Bury a land. They've got to be an approach deck.
Yep, that was the approach. Um... Wow. Why did it do that? That's special. All right, so we got two turns. And that was a needed swing. That's a punt. They found one. Awesome. So we're dead next turn. And the only way we win is if we had a Galta. Yep, they got the approach in hand. Not worth it. Yeah, run it back. So I think this is super budget. I don't even think they have creatures in here. Yeah, we'll try it. I mean, pretty threat light, but... We don't have a lot of stuff that goes... So we'll see what this does. Alright, Galta is pretty okay. Oh, I can't yet. Forgot. So Scavenger, this could be turn 5 Galta. All right, they need to counter this. All right, so they they do have sensor. We haven't seen one yet. So we will play around sensor now. Ah, no double blue. Alright, so if they tap down, we can rip jaw. If not, we're going to scavenger. Okay. They need double blue. Uh, We're on game three right now. This is just, I'm playing a quick game just outside to see how the mana is. I'm going to make a few changes to the deck. Uh, with them tapping down, we're going for Ripjaw. Ripjaw is a better threat. It's just four at all times. That's fine. Yet again, they tap down. Uh, we need one more land in the next few turns, and we have a Carnage Tarrant. All right, well, they tap down, so we're going to do this. Might as well eat our own scavenger. Gain two life, not like it matters. And pass turn. So, Carnage Tarn's pretty big here. Um, I 
our opponent's doing a lot of like tapping down um can't be countered hexproof and trample Carnage Tyrant controls your enemy. So the key is now we're going to start swinging with our friend here, Eat a Sensor. And we know they most likely have the settle. So, yeah, they're looking for an answer. We are searching for an answer because I am going to put a clock on them. I'm never going to, honestly, probably not going to swing a Carnage Tyrant. It is just there as a complete threat because they will settle Carnage Tyrant in 2.2 seconds. So, so what we'll do now is play a Threshing Brontodon, which threatens to get our Ripjaw Raptor back. And we swing. Eat the Supreme Will. Basically, I want to see how low our opponent's willing to go. Because the moment... Yeah, here comes the cast out. Blow it up. Yeah, we're just basically going, how low are you willing to go before you pull that trigger? Because if they... They're basically dead otherwise. Alright, hold on. Uh, let's commune. Tap that for green. Get a red source. Register alpha. Now we're going to draw it out. We have lethal. It's how many do we want to commit to the board? Eh, we'll pull that one back. Yep, there it is. You got a drover.
All right, they're dead. They are dead. All right, so how busted can I be? I've got two... I win. <laughs> All right, blue wood approach. It's a good deck when you have it fully built. So, All right. Um I gotta pick up some Vance's Blasting Cannons because I'm gonna change those out for Blossoming Defenses, I think. So give me a second here, folks. It's, uh. One of those things, I think, for this style deck where you're like, alright, I need to be punching things pretty often and as quickly as possible. Um, when a control deck runs you out of threats. Uh, yeah, this is definitely interesting. This is a user submitted. I've changed it up a little bit. Um, we want four of those. It's more straightforward. It's more dino. It's just basically... I want to punch you. I just don't know if I want Thunderherd in here. Um, with Commune. So that's one of those, like, I'm not sure. Um, we haven't had too big of an issue hitting our land drops. And this could give us, I don't know, a nest robber or something. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm trying to figure out which way we want to go. Like, you can run Raptor Hatchling, for all we care. Um, I don't know if there's a good two-drop dino. Let's go take a quick peek. Set standard. Dinosaur. There's Cherished. Cherished might not be a baddie. Oh, no. I know what we got to put in here. It's not a dino at all. Um, Huntmaster needs to go in here. Give our dinos haste. They cost one less. Boop. A Dino Reducer is definitely okay in my book. And the ability to give Galta haste. So I think we remove Thunderherd. 
for right now. And we're going to put four of you in. I can see that. I'm running the pinger instead. Um, just to kind of kill everything if we run into it. So I'm going to do one more testing of it. And then if it's good, we'll probably join a league here in a minute. I like to get my head around it first. So... Yeah, let's keep this. No, our opponent is doing something uh, controlly. We really want to waste our energy. I could see that. All right, we're going to run Huntmaster out there. Because next turn, we can play the Thicket if we need to. Is this Jess guy? Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Grixis energy? All right. Uh, if they want to keep burning kill spells on our Huntmaster, that's fine. All right, and they're just blown through kill spells, and I'm just advancing my board state. Sure, I can't give big boys haste, but... Um, play this. Play that. Most likely, we'll scavenger next turn. Start eating things. Oh, this is Grixis Amulet. All right. Well, we have a way to get rid of that amulet. That amulet's not going to matter. How many does it need? Four charge counters. Uh, they only got two cards in hand, so... I'm going to do that. Uh, we should beat Grixis Amulet. Especially with main board Brontodon.
and they just blew a bunch of kill spells on things that I'm not overly worried. What's up, Billy? Finally! No, I was saying, uh, we may be moving all of our VODs up to, uh, Twitch. So, alright, they're going to cut my register alpha. It's annoying. Alright, well, we can't let them do anything. So, we got a Brontodon. Because YouTube is no longer supporting uh, streams. We can't get financial support anymore under 1,000 subs. So, the custom URL that we had, the youtube.com slash mtgbrewerspark and all that will be gone as of May 20th. February 20th, so 28th, something like that. So we're looking at a new option. So we might be, you might be able to just go to twitch.tv slash MTG Brewer Spark and check out everything. Um, oh, no, it's fine. I mean, it's really cool because we can now start exploring what, you know, we can do with Twitch um, and what they have. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, we got to start eating those cuts now. Oh, yeah, you can catch up on streams. Everything will be at... We're still going to do VODs to um, YouTube. It just won't... I'll be making a video this weekend. It's not going to financially do anything for us. So all of our YouTube YouTubers that are watching this right now know that we're not cutting you out at all. Just, you know, Twitch will be our permanent home for right now. And then maybe when, we, if, when and if we get 1,000 subs on YouTube... Uh, which would be Rockstar, we'll switch over. and Or we won't switch over, but we'll start going back to those things. Uh, all right, there's a Glimmer. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing at all. It just... Um, what can happen now is people that want... Um, we have subscriber content we can do... Oh, yeah, they're going to scoop up there. All right. Um, feel like this is good. Those are good. Possibly the blasting cannons. I feel like forerunner not so good here. And rage probably not so good. Maybe you see, I don't think we want that. Maybe we'll bring in one heroic intervention. I feel like cut two drover for two more heroics. Yeah, so it's really gonna be cool. I'm glad you're here tonight. Uh, all of our viewers, um, tonight, last night we did Naya Dinos. Um, well, I've revisited it. It's severely been changed. It's pretty cool now. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I think it's got some place to go. Um, I haven't gotten to cast it. I have yet to cast it, Commander. Uh, I'm personally thinking it might just become a braid. To deal with the God Pharaoh gift decks and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, this is actually pretty okay. So, 
Um, but like I said, this is a user submitted. Um, I Baldi uh, followed us last night, said, hey, I'm looking to play something like this at um, one of the big GPs or whatever. So I'm going to do my due diligence, as we always do, um, and play a user submitted deck. I do make changes through it um, and see where it could go, hopefully helping them test out their own deck and, you know, see where it can go for them. So... All right, so they are playing sensor. That's fine. Like, honestly, for us, this is absolutely fine. Um, we have plenty of lands now. That was just a, I'm going to be able to swing for six instead of, th or seven instead of three uh, on turn five, or turn four. Um... I want to draw out the other counter spells, so I am going to continue to hit my drops. And if they have counter spells, that's great. Um, we're going to eat and just say no. I mean, I'll love it if they tap down for, like, a Blasting Cannon here. Alright, so they're going to actually struggle. That's an instant, though. Alright, so they tapped completely down. Um, so, we're going to advance his Blasting Cannon here. Um... And I'm completely okay with this. Um, because this now gives us straight up card advantage. Um, which is huge. And there should be some things like, oh, we flipped a heroic intervention. Can't do anything with it. Great. I didn't, I would have liked it, but not super needed. Um, so it's, it's one of those things of, all right, so we're always going to yield to it. So we got a thrashing Brontodon. Um, that's actually really good. So we are going to cast it. Like, the Registrar Alpha would have been great to cast, but a Brontodon against a Amulet deck is backbreaking. It's something they have to handle right away, or I can just sit there and wave it in front of them. Like, ooh, look, I got a shiny piece of candy, and you can't do anything about it. Uh, so we got a Ripjaw Raptor. Play Ripjaw. That's not a bad thing. And look, we drew out the counter spell. That's great. Oh, I could definitely see it. I mean... In a style deck like this, where you're just like, I'm just going to play big, stupid things, and you need to answer it. Like, they're blocking with their Festering Mummy, and for all we care, we don't really care about Brontodon. You know. And if you look, we've caught up on card advantage now. They're at 45, we're at 45. Blasting Cannon is super legit. And we're not looking to flip it, sure. 
I mean, yep, they killed a uh, Brontodon. They're tapped down. We've been playing lands. We don't need a land this turn, so we will just play a very large alpha. And swing. And now, I mean, we're in a good spot. I Like I say, this is a card that's been on my radar for a while. And I feel like now we have a chance. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, we can actually do something with Vance's Blasting Cannon. Sure. All right, so um, let's math. Three mana takes three off of that. So that's six, that's 10. Let's see if we can kill him in one turn. Yeah, and there's the scoop. Oh, that felt good. All right. I want to try one more. I'm liking this. All right, well, we got two reducers. So. Uh, Marty vehicles. All right. Uh, we're on a full four, three main, one side. Like I said, the side I'm still tinkering with. This is where this pinger is going to come in handy. And this is where Rip Draw Raptor actually may do something. Uh, yeah, we're going to take three. That's a heart. Brontodon would be great. Let's 
So I do want to get the pinger out. But I think I want to get scavenger out first. So if we draw a land, we can do a lot of shifty things. And our opponent's going to take a beating if they do. Oh, this mana feels so gross. Um, they can't crew heart. Jaw. What are we doing? Boat. All right, we need to We need the forerunner. Problem is, I need trip green. Oh, we drew it. Green, green. Haste. Let's get in some damage. Don't care about that. Blow up the boat. Okay. We need one more Brontodon. Yeah, we need a Brontodon at this point. You're pushing the wrong things. Eat courier. Uh, yeah, we're still dead. I need to give it haste. I could have gotten. 
Yeah, we're still dead. Um, all right. Yeah, and our opponent doesn't want to play. Yeah, tonight, I don't think I'm going to jump in a league. I think we're just going to try to jam as many games as possible in. And see what variety we can pick up. So. Um. Yeah, we'll keep this. Merfolk. We have a pinger. It's going to be a bloodbath. We just need to get to our pinger. Silver girl? Silvergill. All right, here we go. Give me a, not a two drop. We have three front forerunners. I will be able to ping everything. Everything gets pinged. You get a ping. You get a ping. I try to build tokens for tomorrow night. I'm gonna see if Brian wants to join because I know he we that's the, like the deck that's on our main list is like we need the tokens deck. Alright, branch walker's fine. Land? Yeah. Alright, well we get a pinger next turn. We actually match up pretty well against... Um, I feel like we match up pretty okay. God, we're going to have so many of these. So what do we want that fights them? I feel like we want a Ripjaw Raptor. I mean, it goes on the top, so I don't want, like, a bazillion of them. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. You, yep. Come on through, baby. All right, so we are going to do this. We're going to play Forerunner. We're going to yield to that. Say yes. We want a Ripjaw Raptor, please. I would like to draw cards. Now the key is we're really not going to play anything else. Another Forerunner unless they play uh, the Duder that pumps them, the Lord. If we see no Lord, we're A-OK. -okay. We see a lord, but it doesn't look like we're getting a lord. It looks like we're just getting another one of these dudes. And uh, your whole board be dying. Jeez. 
Just an FYI. What are we going to draw? We, we drew a Ripjaw Raptor. Well, yes, I would love to play one of those. Yes, I would love to. And I'd love to draw a card. Oh, I got a Drover even better. Um, I think we're going to pass. I mean, we can block there, block there. We have another... I mean, we're playing Dinos now. So... Ah, Kumana. All right, so... Well, I would love to, you know, play another pinger. I need to do that. So we can play a dino. How does it read? ETB. All right. So Registrar Alpha is going to clear the board except for Kumana. Which is good. We, on the other hand, are just going to lose a Death Gorge Scavenger, which... Slightly annoying, but... Eh? As I say, I would uh, suggest keeping it on Kumana. Just a heads up. I'm going to be that's fine <laughs> that is fine with me um, we don't have lethal but we're stupidly close alright uh Register Alpha? Rar? Pew 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 pew. And by the way, guys, this is super budgety. <laughs> This deck is not pricey at all. Yep, you draw a card. Because your stuff is dead. Yes. <gasps> Two pings. Yes. And yes. Yes. I consider this uh, pretty okay.
Our opponent's at a 12. Let's see if we can find... Hey, Galta. No, just a thrashing Brontodon. Like, I'm completely okay with throwing away Registrar Alpha here as a block. So. But I don't think they can swing because we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. With a handful of, your stuff's going to die. So, all right. So we can't play too many duders. What we can do is play another register alpha, though. And just end the game. The key is we will ping Kumana. Because then... Um, I mean, just in pure simple, if this wasn't the board state where we knew we had our opponent dead... Um, we would get rid of it off the board. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that was really good. Um, like, surprisingly good. Uh, so I think we trade out the crested herd callers for some, uh, sword tooths, uh, and we get rid of our death gorge scavenger. Um, I'm half tempted on the carnage tyrants. Cause I don't think gorger is what we want. I might... Maybe the heroic interventions. Maybe. I mean, I'll try it. I don't know. But this deck feels a whole lot better um, tonight than it did last night. So, I am very pleased with this. Uh, thank you, Ibaldi, for the deck list. Um, hmm. I'm going to keep with the commune. We have a ping. And we have a good line of threats. Uh, we want Root Von Craig. Any order? So we're looking at being able to play Brontodon if we don't draw any more lands. So that's pretty sweet. Um. Which gives us Reckless Rage up, which we can try. Because that does hit a Kumano right away. So, I mean, like I say, this is... Yeah, that's fine. Which one's Pioneer again? Oh, that's, that's the... Put a dude out, get a dude, you know. The I don't like pingers, that deck. Alright, well there's Galta. Can we play Galta? That's the key. 
So if we don't, if we draw a land, we can play Ripjaw Raptor, which is big, big. If we don't draw a land, we got Thrashing Brontodon. Personally, I think we should just get some Runner Runner lands. Because, yeah, we need to get rid of that Deep Root Elite. That thing's going to be a pain in the butt. Deep Root Elite. I think that may be the best card for Merfolk, honestly. You get those in your opener, and you're just like, yup, this game's going to get out of hand super quick. All right. So we need a blocker. Brontodon's a blocker. Um... Next turn, we can commune and reckless if we have to. I'm not swinging. I'm going to end up blocking. So they put down a Kumano. We're just going to try to kill it. Um, but I still think the Deep Root Elite is what we're going to have to deal with the first thing. Because right now our pinger can't do what it needs to do. Which is get rid of all those one drop, or the one toughness. The Mistbinder we can deal with more so. So, Deep Root Elite still needs to go first. Do have double Mistbinder? Double Mistbinder. Yeah, we're taking a pounding here. This game may have just gotten out of hand. Um, eight, fourteen. Yeah, we'll we'll take it. If we don't draw land here, we're dead. Uh, yeah. Needed to draw some lands. I kept a bad hand. Plain simple. Um, keep this. Run this back. Yeah. Uh, this is super good. So we're going to lead on Drover. Uh, and then go into our next plays. Because Huntmaster is really good. But, I mean, it also depends on what our opponent's doing. Um, so since we have enough lands, I'm actually going to re lead right into this. I know we can go Drover. The only thing I have yet to do today is haste to Galta, Galta with the Huntmaster. We have haste to Galta with... 
are <sighs> registrar alpha, but not so. I like I say I'm really enjoying these mid rangey type brews. Yeah, this thing needs to die in a fire. Uh, we'll end up cycling that. So, hopefully we'll catch them with enough down that we can ping down what we need to ping down. Yeah, let's see what he puts it on, our opponent. They want to keep the elite alive. They will put it on... The elite. They're not. Okay. So that's okay with us. Yeah, we'll take three. Uh, we're going to clear the board. And... Oh, wow. Okay. Swing for eight. Them getting mana screwed and a slow keep is not what they want to be doing. Haste. Swing for eight. There we go. Yeah, it's a branch walker. I found an unsummon. I would bin it. Getting frisky. All right, I'm going to commune first because we could end the game very quickly. Uh, eight, nine, end the game. And the game. There we go. Kind of digging this. This deck has been pretty ridiculous. It's just synergizing super well. So... All right, so we'll play our thicket out. Yeah. I think the only big change I'd make is uh, Reckless Rage for a braid? Yeah, 
Turn five, Golta, if no one messes with us. Black Red Aggro. So we just gotta get out in front. Drover. Turn three, we can rip jaw, which chumps brawler. Yeah. Kind of digging that. Yeah, no, I'm just straight up taking it. You gotta kill it, yep. Please kill. Alright, so that slows us down a bit. Yeah, if that wasn't a braid, we could have braid the brawler and we wouldn't have a problem. Now we got to hope to draw land. We still live the turn 6 Galta dream now. 4 4 8 11 So if we don't draw land, we're just dead, pretty much. But I am okay with learning what our opponent's doing, yeah. We've seen a lot of different decks tonight, which is awesome. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's been... We played everything from Merfolk to... Approach to... Uh, we haven't played a token stack yet. Uh, yeah, we're just going to concede. No lands. Hmm... I want to run back in here. Kind of feeling the blasting cannons here. Because they're going to want to kill everything on our board. Uh, four runners, not what we want here. Basically, just trade four drop for four drop. Yeah. I think that's what we want. We just need to get to our four drop. Every now and again, we seem to run into that issue. All right, yet again, we're going to play on three lands. And a prayer. Play that. There we go. Uh, we're three and zero. We've been playing. I've been playing in tournament practice tonight, just because this deck I wasn't one hundred percent. I've been changing a lot of things on it, but uh, so far, yeah, three zero. We played Approach, we've played Merfolk, we've played... What else have we played? we played a good amount of stuff. So. Uh, not yet. I'm still trying to... So we're like 
almost to the point where YouTube will pay us out, so I can't put tunes in yet. I, I'm i still 50-50 on Drover. Bourbon, honestly, like, I'm... It's one of those, like, I'm super close on it, like, being a thing. Like, I just... I get it's a lightning rod in the beginning, and I'm okay with that. I don't know. I haven't found anything better. So that's the thing. Like, I haven't found anything, like, backbreakingly better that I want to be like, oh, Drover, I need to take out. So. This is fine. I Jade Lights are a possibility. I, like I say, we're still running the whole synergy to um, dinos. So... So that that's the only stopping point to me is it's one mana more and we don't get our synergies. Like we just changed it up to start running uh the Optech Optech Home Huntmaster and that card's been awesome for us. Um not only is it a reducer, but I've been able to haste out things that we normally haven't cuz we don't have a registrar alpha. Cuz alpha is like that whole little engine that could for us. We get to five, we play an alpha, it's lights out. Yup. You are literal dead. If you do not deal with my hunt master. So you're literal dead. We got 10 right here. So if we draw a 3 mana or less dino. We get to play that. It's free for us basically. Our opponent is not attacking because they know what's in store. Alright, well we're just going to do this super fun. All right. Play crested. I need more trample. Turn six, trampoly Galta. Rawr. Yup. All right. Um, yeah, I still think we run it back. So the pinger has done work for us. Uh, the forerunner surprised, really good card for us. Um, like I said, this deck is super budgety too, guys. So uh, we'll keep this on the pure fact of we have a Huntmaster in hand. So. Oh, we got a drawer too. Fantastic. Yeah, we definitely can... We can power out some definite power, and if we're not playing a control deck, we, uh, um, yeah, it's good for us. 
All right, so since we drew the land, I'm going to play the Huntmaster because this now lets us turn three a Ripjaw Raptor with haste. And that is a big thing for us. All right, so they're going to upbraid. So that changes it up just a little bit. That's okay. Um, we're going to gain some life. We're going to play a Death Gorge Scavenger, gain some life. Um, should, depending on what they do. Now, if they keep an open board state and do nothing, we might Drover to see if we can't draw something out. Otherwise, we are so going to go just Death Gorge Scavenger, Death Gorge Scavenger. All right. So, a Nahab. Uh, sure. It's a Minotaur deck. Uh, this is going to cause me to go draw Drover because I do want my uh, Ripjaw Raptor. And then we'll probably go Blasting Cannon. So. Problem is I want lands. I'm like land hun hungry. I'm like, give me lands. Give me lands. So. Keep moving it around. Don't mind me. Yeah, you swing with Neheb. We're not going to do anything here. I want my Ripjaw Raptor. I want Ripjaw. I will discard a Vance's Blasting Cannon. So, I mean, right now they're kind of keeping me at bay, but I do have a Death Gorge Scavenger, which we will... Um, Alright, we're going to play another Drover. I need to get to 4 mana, and this is, like, killing me to get to 4 mana at this point. Like, we get one a game just, I mean, on the pure back of our power. And if we run them out of kill spells, it's great. But we need to do that. So. And a... All right, so there's a magma spray. They more kill spells. All right, come on, land. Do me one time a solid. So we're going to have to... Um, I think Death Gorge Scavenger is going to be the one that we pick. So. Galter, you're not helping. What's up, my skull? Uh, we're going to eat our own Death Gorge Scavenger. Gain a little bit of life back. I need a land in the worst way. Uh, we'll dump a Galta here. All right, we got a land. We're in business.
We are definitely in business now. And if we can get the blasting cannon online, it'll be even better. Yet, yeah, don't care. Oh, the cut does it for us. Oh, we needed a land like four turns ago. Yeah, he gets it. Uh, no. There's no trample. So... We get to draw a card and discard. That would have done it. So, that's our first loss, but, you know, a little bit to the deck itself, but that's fine. That I can accept. Um, so we have a turn one commune. I'll keep this. This is really good. Um, now they're going to get our commune. Boo. We all boo. Alright, well, we got a Brontodon. I'll say, Brontodons have been money for us tonight. Too. Like, against the, in the, uh, control matchup. Or even, um, the token Z matchup. Like, we just went, oh, you, you have things you need, like, enchantments? No. No. Uh, black Green Snake? Maybe? We'll put a question mark up for that. All right, turn three Raptor, I am A-OK -okay with at this point. And we have a few plays. We are a okay with this. Yeah, I mean, if they want to swing, they they can swing. I don't know what we're playing against. Do I have the Azor deck done? Well, I do have an approach deck done with Azor in it. If that's what you happen to mean. So, yes. Uh, that... I mean, if you guys are interested, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Everyone's trying to get me to play the Horn Swaggle card. I don't see it happening. Really, it's just approach with two Azores. I'm not in love with him. I'm more in love with the uh, Dino. But I like Azor in there because uh, Sphinx's Rev on a stick is nice. You just got to remember you got to attack with him. Which is annoying. So. So we'll not do it then tomorrow. So you can be here for it. This is a journey deck.
Well, I mean, I want you to enjoy, you know, the approach deck. I mean, you know me. I'm in a, I am an approach player. But I think tomorrow we'll maybe do tokens. I'll get the latest list from the guys. Because I know that is a testy list. Return to the battlefield under your control, then. Cancel. Okay. Boop. Blow up the journey. Well, I mean, possibly one game. We would hope for more. I have no one wants if you guys gotta let me know what decks you want to see too. That's the key. Like, you know. That's fine. I mean, shoot us ideas. You know that. We will happily take ideas. Um, I've been a brewing fiend right now. Um, I know Ryan played a deck that I actually, like, picked up super interest in on Monday. And I know i got to play a Boros Aggro deck probably at some point. All right. They got that. Are they going to push their own thing? Because that would be pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Hold on one sec here. I am looking for it in his deck stats. Uh, the Salt Eye Explore deck. With like... The Wayfinders and the Ballistas and stuff like that. That may be next week because Jade Light Ranger kind of spiked. All right. So I have multiple options here. I think the best option is just not let them have a journey. And we're going to commune. Our opponent just doesn't want to play that. Because you know what I'm going to do. Alright, so... Brontodon comes in. Uh, Reckless Rage, I definitely think, is becoming a Braids. And they are a graveyard deck, so Sentinel Token comes in. We're going to cut the Rages. I'll bring in a Tyrant. I mean, why not? Big, stupid thing. We like big, stupid things. That's what our deck is. It's giant, stompy, I pick things up, I put them down, that deck. Yeah, right now, the way the deck sits, it's like a 40-ticket deck. It's cheap. So. Uh, I like this. This is this is uh, A-OK -okay in our book. Don't duress me, dude. Don't do it. Boo! 
Won't let me have fun. I am really enjoying this deck, though. Not going to lie. I hope you all are, because this has been, like, an eye-opener. I may run this in a league later on. Give it some more tweaks and changes. Not too many, just enough. You know, the sweet kiss of a few little changes. But we're not playing any, like, super expensive new cards either. We're just playing... All right, you fatal push that. You hinny. I'm going to trade my scavenger for that if you don't have a creature. How to turn on journey really well. I have a death gorge scavenger. I'm going to eat my hunt master. I'm going to gain that two life back. And you can do nothing about it. So the thing is, really, we're not going to block you, Henny, at all right now. There's no reason to. We have four power on the battlefield. They have two. They need to kill our scavenger. I am playing simple. Nope. All right, so Threshing Brontodon. Now, Threshing Brontodon I'll probably throw in front of you, Henny, because it's a 3-4. But now we can uh, swing. We'll eat their Fatal Push. And that is pretty okay in our book. We take two, they take four. We can do that for three turns. That puts us way ahead. Like I say, Brontodon has been just really impressive as a body. A 3-4 for three has been okay, and then us being able to go, oh, no. No. No, I don't want to deal with that. Legendary rule. Are they looking for a fatal push target? Did they forget he was legendary? So many questions. I don't know. Yep. There we go. Chuck. Technically, I forgot to win. We beat Mardu Vehicles. The only thing we haven't run into is a choopy thingy deck. Well, a deck that's playing like Scarab God, Chupa thingy, all that stuff. Have not really run into that. Uh, we'll keep this. No, we're playing the same guy. Um, which new flip card? Um, I don't know. I let me look again. I've we've looked at them all. I don't think I've played any or like been like oh my goodness, oh my goodness, let me play it. Um
any order. Uh, let's see. Wee! Give me my. Where are my flip cards? Oh, there they are. So, Journey to Eternity looks interesting. Um, I think the one I want to try the most is Hadness Climb, but I don't want to play it in, like, your normal... Yeah, the UG is what I'm looking at the most. Blue-green is what I... I think you can play, like, a blue-green, like, Galta build up something style deck. By the way, we're on path for a turn sixer. We just need to draw a land and we have turn six hasty Galta, which our opponent will do nothing about. Because Hasty Galta is the best kind of Galta. Alright, we need to draw land, guys. Think land. Positive thoughts. Um, yeah, I think the blue-green... I want to try Path of Metal. Um... Mono BBC... You have been hanging out in uh, a Decandio chat. I saw you in there today. Um, so, welcome to the stream. I do quite like Journey. It makes me want to play some Abzan. Like, yeah, that's what I've been thinking. Like, Journey, I could probably get away with, like, an Abzan mid-style deck, which would be kind of cool. Um, I do see us brewing a ton of uh, rivals. So, yep, yep, yep. I know. Thank you. I mean, thank you to all of our followers. Like I say, the big change is going to be everything's going to be started to be held up here on Twitch, too. So, if you have the Twitch app and all, hey, Mono BBC, right on. Woo! Got their land. Yeah. We're on the path. We want Galta. We want Galta. Turn six. Oh, this is so gross. Don't do it. I don't care about Liliana. Liliana's going to get eaten. She's not going to live. Oh, yeah, we got Reggie's in hand. Reggie wants to come down and say hello. Now, the key is, do they want to swing? That That is the key. The question of the day, are we swinging? If yes... All right, so Reggie is going to come down and say hello. When in doubt, register alpha them out. And we are going to... Swing at Liliana. Now the fun part is if we get a three mana dino. All right. 
right. So one damage to uh, Liliana. Are they going to sack Yahini? Sack to Yahini, so he's indestructible. We know how to play this deck. We've played Yahini dot deck before. Yep. What? Really? We get to draw a card. This is fantastic. This is like magical Christmas land. All right. I mean, Reggie is good. All right. Do we have lethal? I kind of think we do. Depends on what our opponent does. Okay, so they're going to Noxious our Reggie, which is fine. I mean, I guess so. We're going to play the long game now, guys. All right. So we are going to play a Hunt Master. Which is then going to play a Reggie. And we're just going to pass the turn. Next turn, we're going to play a Reggie and a Galta. Haste everything. Punch in face. Our opponent's diring trying to live here. I mean, this is fine with me. You you do you. I have enough to um, still really hurt you. All right, ripped jaw. Yep. They should have got rid of Huntmaster. Just saying. All right. Reggie number three. Galta? Activate. All right, let's see what we got. So they got two, four, six, ten, fourteen blocking. They have to cure Galta. Alright, you know what? We're going to run 
Dino, Dino, him, him, him. So everyone really has to go in front of Galto. If you want Galta dead. Alright, so that's two that get... Uh, it's one that's getting through. We're trading as of right now, but I know you're going to sack to it. That's one that's getting through, so you can't return... That's killing. That's fine. Galt is punching. Okay. All right, so Lily's dead. Because trample. How did it kill it? Oh, destroy. All right. That's fine. Yeah, Henny's a five, five, six, seven. That's 12, 13, 14. But no re reoccurrence and they are dead on the crackback as of right now. They have 14 they have. Uh, they have a stomper in the yard. Now they're going to kill my Galta. Alright, this is going to be annoying now. We may have just lost the game. Maybe. They should have swung first. They should have swung first. We're not dead. Trying to do math. All right. So I can do this. Yes. I want stupid. Two mana. Eat the Arborback Stomper. Gain some life. Nope. Yeah, we're seeing what they're trying to do, and this actually makes sense in a deck. It just... You gotta be... Perfect, I guess. All 
All right, so if we play the Crested Herd, that's going to ping down. Why are they playing another Yehenny? That made no sense. Um, okay, that makes it easier on me now. All right. I can't ping. Well, it's a May ability. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so. We're going to uh, always yield. We're going to get rid of a lot of their sack outlets right here. Yes. No. Nope. Give dum dum trample. Go to combat. Uh, swing at him. At him. Lily. Lily. I need to get Lily off the field. Um, we are going to eat a journey. So we will trade. Basically, we just need Lily to not be there. I mean, if they have another one, we're... It's whatever. I need to stop this undying thing of... Lily coming back and going away and coming back and going away. Yep, that's fine. Now, as long as you don't have another Lily, we're okay. Really? Mm. Yup. Gain 12.
Alright, can I kill Lily? One, two, nine. Yeah. Everything at Lily. If they have the fourth one, thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to bring a one blasting cannon. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could have gone Tyrant too. It's Trample. I just want to draw. Yeah, we'll keep this. True. Hexproof first gear hulk. Uh, let's commune. We've seen mainboard duress out of our opponent. Um, we got four lands. So I think we want action. Because so what we can do is turn to our Roop on Crag, play Huntmaster, and then we can um, play our Sheltered Thicket on the off turn. Yeah, that's right. And this will sh set us up for a Registrar Alpha. On four. Not a baddie. And we get to give our Gorger haste. Yeah. All right, so do that. Play Gorger. I mean, I'm fine if they want to. Uh... Yes. Be nice to be able to swing and actually, you know, have another something to eat. But if they want to trade both these away, I'm actually fine with that. It looks like they actually are offering said trade. We are completely accepting of this. Yep, eat them. Reggie. Basically, I just want to get to the point where we can play Galta. Off our Vance's Blasting Cannon. It's greedy. But is good. This deck has been great tonight. We have to let Ibaldi know. Uh, we made some changes to it. Oh, you're going to get my Vance's Blasting Cannon. Boo. <sighs> Not what we wanted. That's okay. I mean, we got to turn four Reggie. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Swing for seven?
That ye hen is sitting all by him loosome. Reggie. Here comes a Reggie. Reggie's getting violent. We may live the dream, folks. Just saying. This could be a turn five Galta. We have a commune. All right, so if we drew, all right, and then we looked at the top five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we would have won anyway. It was another Reggie. All right, so let's talk about the deck because uh, it did better. It did a lot better. I think I want to play it through its paces some more, but I was very actually happy with it. Um, so, basically, the deck itself, as it sits, I think the biggest change I want to make is Reckless Rage becomes a braid. Straight up. Um, Commune was actually fine, because we have... Literally a ton of dinosaurs. We have 7, 10, 16, 18 dinosaurs. And it finds us land, so it's not bad ever-ish. Um... The Drovers were okay, but they are a necessity, necessary evil. They help us ramp out. I think the Huntmaster made the deck a lot better. Like, it just made things more deadly, and that's exactly what we want. Uh, where the board came in, so... Uh, the Sortus were fine. They actually were okay, because we could bring in another set of pingers. Um, I could see this in the Tokens matchup being really good. Um, cause they have no way to buff their tokens. So just clear the one ones, clear the one ones. Um, even though if we have a forerunner out, the forerunners just were awesome. Um, especially with Reggie and the herd caller, uh, we were able to Reggie and herd caller clear two, two merfolk and have no qualms about it and really lose nothing. Um, most time we'd lose our hunt master, which it hurt. Scavenger actually hurt us, but in the battle we're in, I, he's a necessary evil. I'd rather have Ranging Raptors, which would get lands out of our deck, which then I could probably get rid of, like, Drovers. But, there's a big but. There is God Pharaoh Gift, and people trying to build around the Journey um, enchantment and all that. So there's a lot of graveyard synergies going on, and Scavenger just puts an end to that. Plus, control eating their stuff that they can fat cast her back is really good. Um, many, many times we were turn six in Galta. I could see it going to a three of. I don't know what I cut yet, but it could definitely be a three of. Um, so back to the board. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. So the Threshing Brontodon uh, is there. Heroic Intervention is for board wipes. Uh, Carnage Tyrant for the Control Mirror or anyone running like uh, Chupacabra or anything like that. We don't care. We're just going to slam into it. Uh, Vets Plastic Cannon was uh, really good. We ran into a Control deck trying to kill our stuff off. We landed a Plastic Cannon and they literally could not out counter advantage to us. We just kept putting stuff onto the battlefield. And they just could not keep up. It was great. Uh, Sentinel Totem. 
XL all graveyards. I think it's fine. And then this is our tokens matchup. Tokens, Merfolk, you know, yada, yada, yada. This is better in Merfolk, but that's still an acceptable. Because we can turn four of that, which generally catches Merfolk with at least a few creatures we kill. So uh, we did go six and one tonight with the deck. Um, I don't think it's in its final form. I think the Abrades could help it. Um, maybe we'll like split it. Maybe some Magma Spray and some Abrade, or even just go straight Magma Spray. Um, I think the Abrades main deck wouldn't be a bad thing, but really we don't need a way to get rid of enchantments or artifacts. We have Brontodon, and Brontodon has been awesome. Like, literal nuts um, for the deck. So... I mean, in all reality, I will run this deck back. We'll run it through a league. Um, I may have Saturday free, like all day Saturday. So there may be, if you guys um, follow along, Saturday, I know SCG's running their event. I may just go live and say, I know I got to mod their event anyway. So as soon as their event's done, um, Bronto seems like you can be main deck. Stupid busting. Yeah, no, Bronto has been like the surprise of the deck, honestly, is Brontodon. Like the amount of stuff it handled. Like we played against the first game we played. So when you guys are watching the VODs, we played against Blue White Control. I didn't care. They went Brontodon. I went, no. They, or they went Ixalan's Bonding. I'm like, nope. They went Castaway. I'm like, Castaway. I'm like, nope. And then we get to game two, so we win game one pretty easily. Game two, we bring out like Carnage Tyrant, Heroic Interventions, and Vast Vance's Blasting Cannon. And our opponents went, I don't know. Whatever do you mean you're going to outvalue me? And it just was a great, great, it was great. I will give it. I was super excited. It was a great deck. Um, thank you to iBaldi for sending us the initial list. I have made some changes definitely to it. Um, we cut the original list. I'll actually talk about the original list and why I made cuts. So the original list was running uh, four of the Crested Herders. We cut down to two um, and made some room for the Forerunners because Merfolk, Vampires, and Tokens are all a matchup that we just cannot punch through enough damage generally quickly. So if we can ping away that them, we have a chance. We have a real chance. Um, so we cut two of those. The scavengers were running a four of still. They might go to a three of. Uh, commune's been fine because we have enough dinos. We hit a good amount. Reckless Rage, like I said, it may go to like splitting some number of removal other than Rage. I get it. It triggers Enrage, but we only have one Enrage creature, and that's Ripjaw. So, not really what we want, um, especially when we have Scavenger out a lot. It's like, gee, I could kill my Scavenger and kill their thing. I'd rather just kill their thing. Um, Ripjaw, we went down to three. I never want four of in a deck. For some reason, I get Ripjaw, and then you're like, great, another Ripjaw. Great, another Ripjaw. And he just dies to removal, so... Thunderherd Migration we cut completely in turn for the Huntmaster. Um, I just like Huntmaster better because we've been giving things haste with it. And hasting alphas are awesome. Uh, we've hasted a Galta with it. Awesome. When we we didn't have a um, Reggie out. We've hasted Ripjaws and Scavengers. It, really just a good card. Um, and we added some shelter thickets, but you don't need them if you don't want them. It's just a way to cycle through. So other than that, guys, as always, if you like what you heard, hit that follow button, hit that sub button. Thank you to our sponsors, uh, Legion Supplies, who we basically get all of our stuff from. Uh, their dull mat sleeves are the best in the business, in my opinion. They are absolutely amazing. They've lasted six plus months of us shuffling every one Monday on our live stream. So... 
Card Hoarder supplies all of our cards. Thank you so much, Card Hoarder. Can't do it without you. Um, I'm actually wearing Card Hoarder hoodie right now. Um, and then Cats and Cantrips, where we get all of our awesome tokens. So if you watch Mondays and you follow along, check it out. Um, she makes, Leah and C. Anderson makes awesome, awesome tokens. Um, Leah's absolutely a great artist, and uh, she's got some playmats and stuff. So check out our Etsy store. That is below. Um, like I say, I'll be doing a video this weekend for sure about the changes coming to uh, the Spark channel. Nothing that really affects everyone. It's just a different place. So please check it out. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow night with another deck. See y'all.